Hello again, everybody. Well, today I am back in Cartersville, and this time I have enough time to poke around and do a little bit of walking and checking out the old historical areas. Now, these guys are closed today, but we're going to start off with the historic Young Brothers Pharmacy. And you can see that they are definitely into their Christmas things. That is, that is pretty neat. A lot of nutcrackers. And, huh, I don't know if you can see so well, but that is pretty cool. Oh, and uh, before anything else, I know y'all have been asking and waiting on him, but uh, I'm here with my buddy Alex. Hi, everyone. Now, it's a little bit out of his coverage area, but figured we'd bring him along on a little bit of a journey. Oh, look at that. Wow. Okay, that is cool. I don't know what this place used to be. If anybody, if anybody knows, please comment. Um, we're right at Maine in public. The sign on the door says, keepsakes and collect collectibles. I can't talk today. Now the cool thing is, I mean, yes, it has been gentrified, but it's good to see, it's good to see uh, an old historic That's downtown cool. area. America, oh yeah, I mean, it's, it's cool to see these rescued. We're going to go down here and take a closer look at some things. Now if you ever do come down here, this Main Street coastal cuisine is actually a pretty good place to eat. We just passed a cigar bar. Apologies for the road noise. Here we've got a, a coffee shop. Just look at the old patterns on these buildings. And there's a Jefferson's down here. Now Jefferson's is a chain, but they do try to get in little historical areas. Greater Community Bank, but look at this building. 34 West Main Street, and this is interesting. Now, I don't know what this was. ADMCMV. Reno Vaman MMXV123. This is pretty cool. We're going to go check out this movie theater, so I'll be right back. Well, we've got the Legion. Auditions for A Christmas Carol were earlier. I think it was a movie theater in the past, and uh, that's kind of cool. I wish these places were open, but you know, beggars can't be choosers. You've got a butcher shop down there, more businesses and hometowns, but we are going to walk back this way. So catch up with you guys in a minute. Now, Cartersville may be a much bigger city now, but this is the old school core of it. And you can see that some of the old power, some of these buildings need a little bit of work, but it's still a lot better than abandoned buildings that don't exist anymore because, as a business because they're just gone. Okay, that's cool. Alright, well we're going to go over to this park because it looks like there's a monument over there. 
All right, so evidently, this is known as the Friendship Monument. Man, it's in rough shape now, but you can still read some of the stuff. Now it's all fenced up. Now I'm betting that you had hooligans messing with it, and you can definitely tell that time has not been a friend. can tell by now it's Christmas time of course you know we haven't actually gotten past Thanksgiving yet as of this recording we're gonna walk over here a little bit more it looks like there is a depot over here oh, wait a minute Sorry if some of these are hard to read, but I figured this was the better way. I'm guessing that these are just a few of the more famous people from the area. This is a welcome center in a pretty little park. Yep, I will be doing a video of that sometime in the future, but that will take a lot more planning. And I will have to bring a local train expert that I know. Well, that's one of the few colorized carvings. These are always interesting to see. Well, we're at the depot, so let me wander around and see if I can find something for you guys. Well, I will have to come back here another day. But it is really cool to see that they have saved this depot. Sorry. I love it when they can save a depot. This is pretty cool. Huh. 
you've got the Grand Theater over there. We'll take a closer look at it. You've got the Bartow History Museum, which I will have to check out another time. And then the Booth Western Art Museum. But all in all, this is a pretty cool little downtown. Well, I can't get too close because evidently there is a radio station right next to that cool theater. There's also a really cool little diner over there. I am definitely going to have to come back sometime when all of these are open. But as with old, any old small town places, they're all closed on Sundays. Anyway, everybody, I hope you have enjoyed my look at the historic downtown Cartersville. I am off to go on some more journeys. So until then, why don't you go on a journey of your own? We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.